talked about and most beloved building, the arcade. It is really nine buildings in one. It's back open and still redeveloping after being closed for 30 years. But this might just be the beginning of the arcade's impact. New Center 7's Mike Campbell has this week's edition of WHIL Reports, and he looks at the plan city leaders are working on to have the arcade fuel a surge in development. The resurgence of the Dayton Arcade has certainly made everyone feel better about downtown. Now city leaders are hopeful that it will help them build momentum to redevelop or develop other spots that are open in downtown Dayton. There's definitely people who are talking to us that want to be close to that. City leaders are more than pleased to see the first phase of the arcade completed, a long anticipated project that had to drop before others would step forward for other development. The city's motto should be the show me city because so many times uh, people are like, yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. The arcade is showing people. Sky 7 shows the area just a few years ago, still boarded up windows and buildings waiting for rehab at that time, but that's all changed now and the arcade is open, the rotunda back to its glory. And it's sparking interest in spots like right next door, the former home of the Dayton Daily News, now a bit of an eyesore. 15 years mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> sitting there, right. um, you know, obviously not attracting a lot of interest. Now there are developers knocking on the city's door, at least willing to talk about reusing this land at 4th and Ludlow. And speaking of 4th Street, Dayton's first skyscraper, the 40 West 4th Street building, has a new owner who is now working on financing for a rebirth of the former office tower. You know, most likely a building that size will have some kind of mixed-use um, portfolio. Dayton City Manager Shelley Dixon says large towers like this are a challenge, especially now that COVID has forced more work from home employment and less need for office space. Downtown housing is a way to help fill that space. We um, continue to be to marvel at the strength of the downtown housing market. Overall, the city estimates there are a million square feet of space around the arcade that is ready to be reused. I asked what kind of things could stop this arcade fueled momentum. We always monitor the economy. Of course, any recession, you know, can, you know, really slow things down. City leaders say the live, work, play philosophy is coming together nicely. Leva Pavilion here, activities at the convention center that's being refurbished, and they think that Dayton is on its way to having a very vibrant downtown scene. In downtown Dayton, Mike Campbell, New Center 7.